Hi, Lisa Martin here with theCUBE. You're watching our coverage of Dell Technologies World, the digital virtual experience. I've got two guests with me here today. We're going to be talking about the University of Pisa and how it is leaning into all flash data lakes powered by Dell Technologies. One of our alumni is back, Maurizio Davini, the CTO of the University of Pisa. Maurizio, welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you. You're always and well. Very excited to talk to you today. Kashik Ghosh is here as well, the Director of Product Management at Dell Technologies. Kashik, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. So here we are at this virtual event again. Uh, Mauricio, you were last on theCUBE at VMworld a few months ago, the virtual experience as well. But talk to our audience a little bit before we dig into the technology and some of these demanding workloads that the university is utilizing. Talk to me a little bit about your role as CTO and about the university. So my role as CTO at University of Pisa is uh, uh, regarding uh, data center operations and uh, scientific computing support. That is the main uh, occupation that, uh, that I have. Then I support also the technological choices that University of Pisa is, uh, is doing uh, during the latest uh, two or three years. Talk to me about some, so this is a, in terms of students, we're talking about 50,000 or so students, 3,000 faculty, and the, the campus is distributed around the town of Pisa. Is that correct, Maurizio? Uh, the University of Pisa is a sort of a, a town campus in the sense that we have 20 departments that are uh, located inside a, a medieval town. Uh, but due to the choices that University of Pisa has uh, done in the last uh, uh, 90s, uh, we are um, owner of, uh, of a private fiber network connecting uh, all our uh, departments and all our data centers. And so we can use the town as a sort of whiteboard to design uh, new services, uh, a uh, new kind of support for teaching uh, and, uh, and so on. So you really modernized the data infrastructure for the university that was founded in the middle ages. Talk to me now about some of the workloads, Maurizio, that are generating massive amounts of data and then we'll get into what you're doing with Dell Technologies. Oh, so the University of Pisa has a, a quite old history on uh, HPC but traditional HPC. So we, we are supporting uh, the traditional workloads from uh, uh, CAE or engineering or chemistry or oil and gas simulations. Uh, of course, during uh, the pandemic year, last year especially, uh, we have new uh, kind of workloads coming, uh, some related uh, to the uh, fast movement of the HPC workload from, let's say, traditional HPC to AI and machine learning, and also the uh, request to support a lot of remote activities coming from uh, uh, distance learning to remoteize uh, uh, laboratories or stations or whatever was held in presence in the past. And so the impact uh, either on the infrastructure or, and especially on the storage part was significant. So you talked about utilizing the high performance computing environments for a while and for scientific computing and things. I saw a case study that you guys have done with Dell, but then during the pandemic, the challenge and the use case of remote learning brought additional challenges to your environment. From, from that perspective, how, how were you able to transfer your curriculum to online and enable the, the scientists, the physicists, the oil and gas folks doing research to still access that data at the speed that they needed to? Uh, you know, for what regard uh, uh, distance learning, of course, we were uh, based on the cloud services that were not provided internally by us. So we learned we, we based on Microsoft services, on Google services, and so on. For what regards uh, internal support, uh, scientific computing uh, was completely uh, remotized either on support or experience. 
because uh, how, how can I, how can I uh, bring some uh, some examples? Uh, for example, um, laboratory activities uh, were remotized. The access to the laboratories uh, was held from remote uh, as much as possible. Uh, we designed a special network to connect all the laboratories and to give the researcher the possibility of accessing the data on this special network. So a sort of a collector of data uh, inside our, our university network. Uh, you can imagine that uh, virtualization, for example, was, uh, was a key factor for us because virtualization was uh, uh, for us uh, a flexible way to deliver new services uh, in an easy way uh, especially if you have to uh, administer systems for remote. So as, as I told you before about the, the uh, network as a, as a whiteboard, also the uh, computing infrastructure was uh, with VMware virtualization uh, treated as a, as a sort of whiteboard. We were designing new services, either, either for interactive services or especially for uh, scientific computing. For example, we have an experience with uh, virtualization of HPC workload, storage, and so on. Talk to me about the storage impact, because as we know, we talk about you know these very demanding, unstructured workloads, AI, machine learning, and that can be, those are difficult for most storage systems to handle. Maurizio, talk to us about why you leaned into all flash with Dell Technologies, and talk to us a little bit about the technologies that you've implemented. So, uh, if I if I have to think about our our storage infrastructure before the pandemic, uh, I have to think about ISO because our HPC workloads was uh, mainly based on the uh, ISO as a storage infrastructure, uh, together with some uh, uh, parallel file system, as you can imagine, that were deployed in house. Uh, during the pandemic, but especially with the uh, explosion of the AI workloads, the uh, footprint of the storage uh, request changed a lot because of what we had uh, until then, and in our case, it was an hybrid uh, Isilon solution, didn't fit uh, so well for, HP, for AI workloads. And this is why we uh, started uh, the migration that was, it was not really a migration, but a sort of integration of the power scale uh, old flash machine inside our uh, environment, because the, the power scale uh, old flash, and especially, uh, I hope in the future, uh, the NVMe support, uh, uh, is a key factor for the AI storage uh, storage support. Uh, we already have experienced some of the uh, NVMe uh, possibilities uh, on the power nets that we have here uh, that we use to think of the workloads uh, in part for VDI support. Uh, but of, um, all flash is the minimum, and the NVMe uh, is uh, what we need to support in the right way the AI, AI workloads. Kashuk, talk to me about what Dell Technologies has seen the uptick in the demand for this. Uh, as Maurizio said, they were using Isilon before, adding in power scale. What are some of the changing demands that, that Dell Technologies has seen and how does technologies like power scale and the F900 facilitate these organizations being able to rapidly change their environment so that they can utilize and extract the value from data. Yeah, no, absolutely. And artificial intelligence is an area that uh, continues to amaze me. And uh, personally, I think the, the potential here is immense. Um, uh, as Maurizio said, right, um, the, the data sets uh, with artificial intelligence I have uh, grown significantly, and and not only the data has become um, uh, become larger, the models, the AI models that that we that are used have become more complex. Uh, for example, 
uh, one of the studies suggests that uh, the uh, that for a modeling of uh, natural language processing, um, uh, one of the fields in AI, uh, the number of parameters used could exceed uh, like a, a, a trillion in a in a few years, right? So almost the size of a human brain. So, so not only that means that there is a lot of amount to be uh, data to be processed, but uh, but uh, the process stored ingested, uh, but probably has to be done in in the same amount of time as before, or perhaps even a smaller amount of time, right? So larger data, same time, or perhaps even a smaller amount of time. So absolutely, I agree. I mean, those type of for these type of workloads, you need a storage that gives you that high performance access, but also being able to store the store that data e economically. And Kashik, how does Dell Technologies deliver that? The ability to scale the economics, what's unique and differentiated about PowerScale? Uh, so PowerScale is, is, is our all flash uh, system. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's bed, uses the technology, the, some of the same capabilities that the uh, Isilon um, products used, used to offer, the one FS file system capabilities, some of the capabilities that Morijo has used and loved in the past. So those, some of those same capabilities are brought forward now on this PowerScale platform. Um, there are some changes, like for example, our new PowerScale platform supports NVIDIA GPU Direct, right? So for um, artificial intelligence uh, workloads, you do need these GPU capable machines and, uh, and PowerScale supports the, those uh, high, high performance GPU Direct machines uh, through, the, through the different technologies that we offer. And um, the PowerScale F900, which, which we are going to launch very soon, um, um, is 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 our best high, highest performance all flash and the most economical all flash uh, to date. So um, so it, it is um, it not only is our fastest but also offers uh, the the most economic uh, most economical way of storing the data. Um, so so ideal for for these type of uh, high performance workloads like AI ML deep learning and so on. Excellent. Marisa, talk to me about some of the results that the university is achieving so far. I did read a 3X improvement in IO performance. You were able to get nearly 100% of the curriculum online pretty quickly, but talk to me about some of the other impacts that Dell Technologies is helping the university to achieve. Oh, we are, we are an, old, uh, an old Dell customer. And uh, if you, uh, Give a look at what we have inside uh, inside our data centers. Uh, we typically joking we define as a sort of a Dell Technologies supermarket in the sense that uh, uh, the great part of our our servers storage environment comes from uh, from Dell Technologies. And several generations of uh, uh, PowerEdge servers. Uh, Power Max, uh, Isilon, Power Scale, Power Store. So we are we are uh, uh, using a lot of uh, Dell, uh, Dell technologies here here, and of course, uh, um, in the past, uh, uh, our traditional uh, workloads were well supported by by Dell technologies. Uh, and uh, Dell Technologies is, is uh, uh, driving us uh, versus uh, the, what we call the next generation workloads, uh, because they are uh, accompanying us uh, in, uh, in the transition versus uh, um, uh, the next generation computing that we hope uh, to, uh, to host here. And this is what uh, our researchers are looking for. Because if I if I have to 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 give a look to what we are uh, doing uh, mostly here, so healthcare workloads, uh, deep learning, uh, uh, data analysis, uh, uh, image analysis, uh, image extraction, everything have to be supported, especially from uh, from the next next generation servers, uh, typically. Keep uh, uh, 
uh, with uh, with GPUs. This is why GPU Direct is 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 so important for us. But also uh, supported on the, on the on the networking side because the 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 speed and the, of the storage have, uh, must be tied to the next generation networking. Uh, low latency, high performance, because at the end of the day, you have to uh, to bring the data to the storage. And typically you do it uh, by importing. So uh, the, the rewomp of the low latency, uh, uh, high performance inter interconnected is also, is also a, a side effect of this new world. Uh, and of course, Dell Technologies is uh, is with us uh, in, in in this transition. I love how you described the, your data centers as a Dell Technologies supermarket. Maybe a different way of talking about a center of excellence. Kosh, I want to ask you about. I know that the University of Pisa is a COE for Dell. Talk to me about in the last couple of minutes we have here what that entails and how Dell helps customers become a center of excellence. Yeah, so Dell, um, like Mauricio talked about, uh, <laughs> has a lot of the Dell Dell products uh, today, and 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 in fact, he mentioned about the PowerEdge servers. The PowerScale F900 is is actually based on a PowerEdge server. So so you can see, so a lot of these technologies are sort of interlinked with each other. They talk to each other. They work together. Um, and 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 that sort of helps helps customers manage their entire uh, ecosystem lifecycle data lifecycle together versus as piece parts because we have solutions that solve all aspects of 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 the uh, of of uh, of our customer like Mauricio's uh, needs right so um, so yeah I'm I'm glad Mauricio is <laughs> is leveraging Dell and I'm and I'm happy we are able to help help Mauricio solve solve his uh, all his use cases uh, end to end. Excellent, Mauricio. Last question: Are you going to be using AI and machine learning? powered by Dell to determine if the tower of Pisa is going to continue to lean <laughs> or if it's going to stay where it is? Uh, the, the, the leaning tower is uh, an engineering miracle. Uh, some years ago, uh, an engineering, uh, incredible engineering work uh, was able uh, to fix the leaning uh, for, a, for a while. And let's hope that the tower of Pisa Stay there because it was is one of our uh, beauty that you can come to to visit. And that's one part of Italy I haven't been to. So post pandemic, I got to add that to my travel plans. Maurizio and Kashik, it's been a pleasure talking to you about how Dell is partnering with the University of Pisa to really help you power AI machine learning workloads to facilitate many use cases. We are looking forward to hearing what's next. Thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you. For Thank my you. guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technologies World, the digital event experience.